I'm joined by a top grandmaster and local player, Temur Rajabov, uh, also winner of uh, previous uh, World Cup. Temur, uh, how are you doing? You've won today your second game and you go through to the third round with one and a half. Tell us about the, the game and the match. Well, the match was, uh, as every match here, is always complicated. And uh, I think I have like a pretty uh, good game yesterday, like kind of comfortable. But you never know here which color is, uh, you know, the striking one or somebody will strike against you. So it's always uh, kind of uh, surprising, whatever happens. And the thing is that today I've got some kind of uh, pleasant edge after I think he forgot some Siri. And uh, I've had some plus, but I was just uh, thinking that he's probably still having uh, an OK chances if he just takes with the bishop on c6 before and maybe just play c5 instead of c6 just uh, okay same position to take c6 and then bishop takes c6 stuff and uh, rook takes c6 came as a surprise i think i'm just uh, slightly better for a long-term uh, initiative and uh, well i had to be uh, careful of course not to miss the advantage it's always unpleasant when you get the advantage and you don't have too many chances you have to score and uh, then i think i found this bishop e3 was a strong move i guess and uh, just started to pick up the pawns. The position was much better. And I think 97 was uh, already kind of crucial mistake that uh, really leads to a very lost position. Then rook d1 and rook d6 id and also bishop d5 exchanging bishops uh, should be much better for, for white. But uh, especially that he missed this rook takes d6, it came uh, especially unpleasant for him. Are you surprised yeah. that uh, many of the other top players in the, in the round have uh, drawn their games and will go to tiebreak tomorrow? No. Could this be a strategy or just the toughness of the no, tournament? No, no, no. It's not a strategy, I guess, but uh, maybe for some who are like really sure in their capability to win the Rapid or Blitz. But uh, honestly, a lot of um, top players were knocked out on the very early stages in this tournament many times. So I don't think really that there is a special strategy that can lead you to, you know, to the finals or something. Because uh, as we know, there were uh, many different winners. Uh, for for many of these World Cups, so I guess it's not easy to win it many times. And uh, also for all the top players, I don't think anyone has a specific um, you know specific strategy. Of course, you've played here many times in Baku. Do you get an extra boost of uh, confidence or excitement, or do you feel slightly more pressure when you're playing at home? Well, I mean it's always uh, some pressure yeah, when you're representing your country for sure. Uh, be it uh, the individual events or the team events, but uh, certainly playing in Baku is just, uh, yeah, it adds probably some additional pressure. But uh, at the same time, I mean, I see a lot of uh, friends, a lot of people that know me, like uh, the cheering up. And uh, I'm sure that uh, whatever the result will be, there will be still uh, uh, my fans. They're not plastic fans, you know, they're there for, for many, for 20 years or more. And so uh, that's why I'm very happy uh, about seeing a lot of uh, my competitors here, of course. And uh, yeah, everybody's uh, smiling and like uh, cheering up. And of course, um, they are, um, you know, they are supporting uh, me and all the other um, Azerbaijani players that are taking part in this tournament. With you, Tamer Rajivov, uh, local local player, fan favorite, and World Cup winner. So, the best for you, Raj. Thank you very much. Thank you.